So I'm Mark Armitage, new lecturer in strength and conditioning. So I'm probably a little bit of a specialist generalist uh, in that I'd probably fall across the sports science discipline from a sports science to strength and conditioning perspective. Um, I guess my career has evolved naturally along that continuum. Uh, so when I began, I was a sports scientist by profession or trade. Uh, then I was a strength and conditioning coach. And now I guess in an applied setting, I'll be a physical performance coach, which basically is um, the amalgamation of the two. Yep, so my background is mainly in football. Um, so I started obviously when I was doing my undergrad degree, uh, trying to get work experience effectively or internships. Uh, quite fortunate and I had some contacts from my own education who were working in the game. Um, so when I was studying, I had some experience at Cambridge United and Watford Football Clubs. After I graduated, I then went to Norwich as an intern, mainly working with the reserve team at the time. Um, I started teaching in a sixth form college at that time, which meant that I could work at Norwich part-time with the academy. Um, but my passion was obviously to work full-time. So then I went to Southampton to work with their under-18s. From there, I moved to Arsenal to work with their under-23s. From there, uh, I went to the Football Association and worked with the junior teams, ranging from the under-15s to the under-20s on the men's side, and the under-18s to the seniors on the women's side, as well as delivering on the coach education programme. Uh, from there, I moved into senior football. Uh, I had a job at Huddersfield Town, working obviously with the first team there. And from there, I've obviously come into academia and joined the University of Suffolk. So I guess I'm a bit more unique in that, like I say, because I've sort of been in the industry for as long as it's been around, I've tended to evolve with it. But obviously now sport is ultra competitive. Um, the financial implications are colossal. Uh, and because of that, obviously, people are looking for specialist input. Um, so the more you can specialise in a particular area, uh, hopefully the more competitive and better you will be as a practitioner. I like to see people progress. I like to try to challenge them. And ultimately, if I'm being honest, I like to try to have a positive impact on people's careers. Um, so again, I've been quite fortunate with my own career and the experiences I've had. And now my motive is to try to help people either emulate that or hopefully um, surpass it. Um, so I see sort of teaching and coaching very much one of the same thing. And ultimately it's trying to help other people get better.